Hi, this is Kendra, and I'm going to be showing you how to partition your external hard drive on Windows. You'll start with the Start menu, and then go to right-click on Computer, and select Manage. It'll take a second or two to load that, and then once it loads, you're going to go to Storage on the left-hand menu, and click Disk Management. As soon as that loads for us, we're going to see our different drives. I'm going to right click on the F drive and go to Shrink Volume. Once that loads, we'll be able to choose just how much we want to put onto our drive. I want to divide mine in half, and I need to do that on a calculator, so you can see the math I did there to shrink it to half of its size and type that number in there and click shrink. So you can see in a second here my F drive will divide into two separate drives. So currently we have an unallocated drive. In order to allocate it I first need to go to new simple volume, next and then it's going to be on drive G, so that's fine. And I'm going to format it in NTFS even though it's already currently on that because it's not giving me any option other than the default. I'll leave the allocation units also on default, but I'm going to rename the volume label to Kvon Home 2 so I know that this is my second drive on this for Windows. Then I'm going to go to Next and finish that up. As you can see, that is working on formatting. So it will be formatted in NTFS, which will only work on Windows. It's optimized for that. I want to use this to work on both Mac and Windows, so I'm going to open that folder once it's finished and right-click on Drive G and format that. So as you can see in a second here, it will pop up with the window that will allow me to format it. And I'm going to format it with FAT. And XFAT is what my computer allows. And the FAT format allows you to work on both Mac and Windows, but it can't take a drive over 8 gigabytes in size at a time, so that's important to remember. Once the format is complete, we are finished and we have a partitioned drive for Windows.